Welcome to Pact Publishing's video course on building an app UI with Prime Faces. This section will explain everything you need to build the first web application. We'll cover how to create the web application in NetBeans. The tutorial will show you how to configure the web application as a JSF 2.2 web application. We will also show how to configure the Maven script to automatically download Prime Faces, Mongo and Spring. Run the NetBeans that was installed in the previous tutorial. When NetBeans opens, click on the File menu and then the New Project submenu. The New Project window will open up. Click on the Maven item in the Categories list on the left side. The list of available types of projects will be displayed on the right hand side. Click on the Web Application and click the Next button. Please wait while NetBeans configures itself for a web application. Name the tutorial Packed Prime UI Demo and leave the rest of the settings as they are. Please note the location of the project. Click the Next button when done. Make sure the selected server is Apache Tomcat and the Java EE version should be Java EE7 Web. If your drop down doesn't display Java EE7 Web, select Java EE6 Web for now. Click the Finish button when done. NetBeans will create the new Maven web application. Right click on the project name and click Run on the menu. NetBeans will download the required packages, compile the project and deploy it automatically to Tomcat. NetBeans will open a web browser automatically and display your brand new web application. Please note the URL and the port that NetBeans has set up. While NetBeans deploys your web application, your firewall might show a message box. Just click on the Allow Access for NetBeans. Right click on the running Tomcat and click on the properties menu item. All the properties for the server will pop up, including the port that NetBeans has set up for you. Stop the server that's running by right clicking on it and clicking on the stop menu item. You can also close the server by going to the Windows Task Manager, finding Java and ending the process in cases where the server doesn't shut down through NetBeans. One way to test whether your server has been shut down is by opening a web browser and going to the local web server. If you forgot to note down the port, then go to NetBeans, right click on the server and click Properties. The server properties will open up. On the first page is a server port number. In this case it is 8084, but most of the time it would be 8080. 